I just arrived in Bratislava, the capital city of Slovakia. And I came from the capital city of Austria, from Vienna, just an hour train ride from here. And trains leave every hour. So I figured why not hop on a train and come to Slovakia since who in the world knows anything about Slovakia? So let's find out what they do here. And I came here for fun, I came here for food, and I also came here for a possible haircut. Because I checked prices, <laughs> and prices are literally like half or so compared to prices uh, in Vienna, just an hour from here. And the train tickets are so cheap that if you add it up, it's literally cheaper to come here and get a haircut than to get a haircut in uh, Vienna. Vienna and Bratislava are actually the two capitals that are the closest in the world. There's only 55 kilometers in between them, like I said, an hour on the train or an hour on the bus. And yeah, Austrian and Slovakian ties are very strong since the Iron Curtain came up because they had very strong ties already in the Austro-Hungarian times but that was as you all know more than a hundred years ago since both of the countries joined the European Union they um, are working closer together and even and are even considered today twin cities or sisters sister cities let's check out if we can get a haircut that's more interesting and let's check out what else the city has to offer this is easily the weirdest ticket machine I've ever seen okay perfect thank you so how would you like your haircut? All right, just um, make a little fade from here, uh -huh. from here up to like one centimeter or something. Okay, side. you want fade uh, With bottom nothing or two millimeters? No, no, um, like I don't know, a little bit more, like five or something, and here one okay, centimeter. Okay, that's not fade. Okay. Not fade. Okay. <laughs> okay, fade is when you not, go not from not nothing. Okay? okay, fade is from nothing. All right, so yeah, you uh, you know it better. Than yeah, me. I know. I should. I, <laughs> so I make not, living not, out of not this. Not that. Uh, not that. Um, okay, so we that. have four or six millimeters. She can start with six, and then we'll see. Okay. That's perfect. That's perfect. And okay. here just Kiska. a little bit. Ah no, this just a little bit. Because the fade is only six millimeters on the upper part, so you can cut it back to the upper part and then to the upper part. Perfect. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> you have to be careful what you ask for, okay? Because yes, you might, I see. You might actually get it. <laughs> I see here. Yeah, you're the pros. I'm, I'm just a yeah, you're just the cameraman. Huh? Dumb customer. <laughs> Thank you. All right. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Okay. It's okay, yeah. Feels so good, looks good. I just realized how bad my hair looked before. No, but. What is your name? Name? Mari. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Uh, a So how would you like your haircut? Twelve. 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 Okay. And very little contact. Okay. You see, this is how people come. They they know what numbers exactly. Oh, they want. They know exactly. Yeah. We train uh. people here. <laughs> well, they say time. We say time. 
I never know what to say at the hairdresser. Now you know, you say, you say 6 millimeters on the bottom. Yeah. And then everybody understands. 6 but millimeters is everywhere the same. It's everybody the same? Yeah, come I, on. Okay, that's... that's okay, the attachment numbers are different, but millimeters are the same, right? Okay, okay. So you can do all types of millimeters, every everything, or just two steps? Just the bottom, you just, see. Just okay. the bottom part, not everything. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Is it, uh, is it your shop here? Yes. Okay, very nice. For how long did you have it? Well, we moved here like five years ago, but oh. overall I have shopped in Bratislava for the last 20 years. Okay, okay, nice. So you from yeah. Canada? <laughs> it might look like it. But, but you don't sound like, but you look like yes, it. Yes, very true. Yeah, I like Canada too. Yeah, you've been there? Yes. No, oh, very nice. I was in Quebec and Montreal. Oh, cool. But many years ago, before you were born, probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> So you spoke English or you spoke French there? English. Okay. No. But they don't want to speak English. Right? Yeah. They... So what do, you, what do you do? You, you take uh, all your haircutting experiences around the world or what? Mm, yeah, I, I tape uh, all kind of experiences around the world. But right now, I just go to Bratislava. Okay. And, and not to Canada since it's not allowed. Still not allowed. I used to live in California. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. As a hair hairdresser, or what did you? I do? learned to cut hair over there. Oh, cool. I yeah. have agriculture school. Oh, nice. In Slovakia. Okay. That's what? good. Yeah, it's good. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Nice fresh look. Ah. All right. What does it come to? All right, all right. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. All right, thank you. All right, thank you for the thank nice you. experience. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Nice meeting you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. That was a nice experience. Nice haircut. Very interesting lady. And what's interesting about this place is that it's only called... I mean, it doesn't have a name. It's just called Hairdresser. Barber. Um, yeah. I guess since the pandemic, they've come up with the prices a little bit. But still fast and easy. I like it very fast. And um, I like when they know what to do because I have no idea how to explain to them, as you saw. So let's see if we can get some food. Are they even open? They seem to be. <laughs> Hello.